Hey guys, slept in today. Um, we're supposed to be going to air boats and doing some other stuff. Um, if we ever get out of bed. Airboats and whatever they have to offer. I think they have other stuff to do there too. Too like, it's like alligator feeding and something. I don't know. I'm not really sure. So we will find out uh, when we get there. That's really all we got planned today. I had a food review I was gonna do, but I'm just gonna cancel that food review uh, video. Um, like I said, this 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 uh, trip is not about me really. I just fit stuff in that. If I could do it, but if I can't, then I ain't gonna worry about it. So we get up and get ready so we can get going. Let's see, we we'll back in a minute, Mike and Sue, and um, that's who we're staying with, with this, in this condo here, my friends. So we're um, we're gonna get up and um, get to moving around a little bit, brush my teeth since it's Monday. Hey, we are here at the safari park. Uh, we're about to ride the airboats and see some uh, crocodiles. Uh, let's see what they have to offer here. I think you get to pet a crocodile at the end, um, but we're about to head on the boat now. So hope you enjoy the video. I'm gonna have to take the audio out since the fan on the boat's gonna be loud. I put some, um, some uh, music in for you guys. So enjoy the show. guys i'm in deep deep thought um right here i'm just wondering if asians got mad when americans make their tea green with dye for saint patrick's day oh the bird that you see on the left hand side is the egret the second largest bird out here in the everglades egret right over there to the left the one straight ahead we're gonna pass by him in a second the bluish grayish one he's a little taller and the white one over here, this will be the great blue heron, the largest bird out here. They're both very patient birds. They can sit still for up to two hours, just waiting to catch a fish, a snake, or even a baby alligator if they find one.
alligator all over there just behind that grass. You can stand up on the chairs if you'd like. Don't worry about the upholstery, you're not gonna mess it up. Alligator to the right hand side, pretty big guy. Uh, kind of hiding behind the grass, but he is there. Now these alligators are very efficient animals. They only use about yeah. one day out of the week to actually hunt. And they can go as long as six months without eating, especially in colder climates. Now their main diet consists of fish, turtles, tourists, and birds, so don't fall in the water. out here his name was monster he was 11 feet 5 inches long but one day he decided to cross the road part of the tour. <laughs> Folks, there was a walking part, right? Yes, drop a right okay. <laughs> Huh? No, no, not me first. I, I'm a perfect gentleman, ladies first. I am just joking. Please don't get in the water. Just joking. Actually, folks, what we do right now is we stop for a brief second just to give you some information on the Everglades. Will you be translating? Will you be translating? Are they good? Yes, okay. I think okay. Now, folks, what we do right now is we stop for a brief second just to give you some information on the Everglades. You folks are more than welcome to take as many pictures and videos as you like as I explain a little bit about the Everglades and how it works out here. Now, folks, most people that come out to the Everglades, they think they're going to run into one big swamp. As you can see around us, this is not a swamp. It's actually a river. And it's the slowest moving river in the U.S., moving about one mile every 24 hours, and that's due to all the vegetation that you see around us. All this grass will slow down the water flow quite a bit. Now this grass out here is also the reason why they refer to the Everglades as the river of grass. Now all the water surrounding us right now, this is all freshwater rainwater, and all this water starts up by the northern part of Florida, Kissimmee, Florida, the Orlando area. By the way, this is the turkey vulture right here, garbage men of the Everglades. They eat all the dead animals out here. What's pretty cool about the bird, it can fly as high as an airplane, 25,000 feet. Now, back to the water. Over there by Orlando, there's a huge lake out there called Lake Okeechobee. Once it fills up with rainwater, it will overspill and push south to where we're at right now. And from here, it will continue moving south another couple of miles till it hits the Florida Bay, where it's going to enter the Gulf. Now, this water is very important out here, especially to some of the people that live in the surrounding areas. Some of the native Floridians out here actually use this dirty, muddy water, believe it or not, as drinking water or bathing water. Now, it does filter through different layers of the grass, mud, dirt, and rock. And there is one rock out here, which is pretty much the grounds of the Everglades, the limestone. Now, once the water is done filtering through this rock out here, water management out there, those guys, they're going to pick it up. They're going to filter it some more, basically make it safe to drink. And then at that point, they'll go ahead and send it out through the pumps to your homes and hotels for use. Now, in case you're wondering, the depth of the water right here, not that deep at all. Only about 18 to 24 inches deep, about knee high. If we sink right now, you're all going to find out on your own how deep it really is because we're all going to end up walking back to base. So hopefully those repairs that they did this morning, they hold up and we don't sink. You see some water, you let me know. Now the grass right here, very important as well. Not only does this grass fill to the water, that grass is actually edible. If you were to come out here and you get lost, stranded, or stuck, and you go hungry, all you have to do is put the grass out of the water and you can eat the root or the stem to survive out here, as did the last known tribe that used to live on the island just in front of the boat. Folks, that long island over there that stretches to my right about 85 years ago, there was a tribe that used to live on that island. Their last name was Tiger Tail. They were part of the Miccosukee tribe. To survive on the island, they would eat things like grass. Now, besides grass, they would also eat things like fish, birds, turtles, snakes, and tourists to survive on the island. Now, if you come back at the end of February, you're going to notice about 300 different types of birds that like to visit us during that time to come out here and lay their eggs. And we also have everyone's favorite animal out here as well, snakes. Does everybody like snakes? No? I see some guys. 
guess with some gold. Whoa, we do have about 27 different types of snakes. 18, they're right here in this water and in this grass. Do not be alarmed or surprised if you see one or two boarding the boat to stay dry. It happens. Now, out of the 18 that do live in there, folks, four are very deadly. Eastern Diamondback rattlesnake, pygmy rattlesnake, water moccasin, and coral snake. And we also have the Burmese python. You folks ever heard of that one? Yeah, they can get as long as this boat. As a matter of fact, I found out not too long ago, about a month now, there was a guy out here, captured one 18 feet, five inches long, set the record for Florida right now as far as the largest one captured out here in this area. So they can get pretty big. At this time, does anybody have any questions? No questions. We still have 23 hours and 30 minutes. It's a 24 hour tour. Sweet water or a This is fresh water. Fresh water. Fresh water, yeah. It's very sour. Yeah, not sweet at all. All right, folks, I'll leave you with this before we leave then. Everglades are approximately 80% water, 20% land. The river stretches from north to south, 300 miles. It is about 60 miles wide. Everglades consist of 1.5 million acres, and we also have about 1.5 million alligators in all of the Everglades. You folks ready to find those alligators? All right, we're going to head forward. I will leave you with a little warning. Alligators out here can be pretty aggressive. They can also jump out of the water, half of their body length. Sometimes when I get very close to one out here and I scare them with the boat, they will jump up really high. And when they do that, sometimes they trip on the edges and land inside the boat. It happens. If that happens here today, please remain calm and do not worry about me. I am safe way up here. Now these alligators, they can swim as fast as 17 miles an hour run as fast as 15 miles an hour, and they can stay underwater for up to four hours at a time. Well, and nine out of 10 times when you do see an alligator out here, folks, they're doing that right there. Absolutely nothing, they're very lazy. Alligator show. At the end of the alligator show, you will all have an opportunity to carry a little baby alligator if you wish to do so. Do not try to kiss him or he will kiss you back and his kisses do hurt. Now, don't forget to walk around the park, many alligators to see from all over, and also the museum, folks. Don't forget that museum. Little baby alligator snakes and other little animals you may find interesting. Now, folks, if you enjoyed the boat ride, please don't forget the guy. Tips are greatly appreciated, as boat captains do work the tips. On behalf of myself and Everglades Safari, I want to thank you folks for coming out. It's been my pleasure. I haven't been your boat captain today. Now, don't put the cameras away just yet, folks. You still have a chance to see some more alligators and wildlife up ahead. Thank you, and have a wonderful day, folks. <laughs> Bird right here. This is my favorite bird out of all the birds out here. The Hinga. Not only does he fly, but he dives in the water to spear fish. He swims around. Has the best of both worlds. Make a terrible pet, though. They like to peck the eyes. So. You're going to see her in a minute, what uh, Tasha does with her phone, but uh, yeah, I'm scared to do that, but she already done it before and their phone works, so they are, they say they're waterproof. I mean, they're not totally 100%, I guess, if you go down uh, too deep because of the pressure. That's what she said. She's going to be doing a lot of uh, fishing and, and probably scuba diving in the future on her vlogs, so uh you're going to see a lot of different stuff that she does. She has a lot of ideas. So please, guys, again, please uh, subscribe to her channel. Look in the descriptions for her link. 
um, subscribe, hit notification. You will see some videos in the future. She doesn't have any right now, but she's getting stuff set up right now to, to do it. So you get a front row seat uh, if you hit the notification button as well. Any questions? <laughs> All right. 
glad this seems normal. Most people find it weird. <laughs> the two best ways to tell an alligator from a crocodile. An alligator, very wide, rounded head. Crocs are very pointed and V-shaped. With the teeth on an alligator, you really should see top teeth only, just like a person, top over bottom. On a crocodile, you should see all the teeth. Alligator, crocodile. One thing you will not see on a crocodile is a big fleshy tongue. Not on a crocodile. <laughs> Any questions? I want you guys to understand we are not trying to show people how to tame your local alligator. What we are trying to show people is that TV always has and always will sensationalize. They are dangerous and they have attacked people. However, it may surprise you to know the number one most deadly animal on this planet besides people is the mosquito. Remember that as you walk around, you'll be around the two most dangerous things on the planet, mosquitoes and each other. <laughs> Any questions before I bring out the little one for you guys? Okay. All right, I'm going to bring out the little one. I'm going to bring him around the outside of the fence. Please don't reach for him. At the end of the show, if you'd like to hold and take a picture with him, we do ask for a three dollar gratuity. If everybody will please just stay seated, just a moment, and I'll be right back with the little one. Really quickly. So these guys will lose teeth throughout their entire life, regrowing them each time. I just found one there in the sand in front of me. So what will happen is whatever spot this came from, I can give it to you, it's fine. Whatever this spot came from, it fell out and a new one will grow back a little bit bigger. All right, I'm going to bring out that little one. Stay seated just a moment and I'll be right back. Listen, they are first born, everything will eat them. Once they reach about three, they'll start to lose the color and they'll start to eat everything that used to eat them. They typically grow about a foot a year for the first six years. That's about two meters in the first six years. Now, if you guys would like to hold and take the picture with him, it is very important that you do not put him by your face. Oh. And you don't try and kiss him. If he slaps you in the face with his head or his tail, you'll be impressed. This is the proper way. I'm sure you've all noticed it's alive. If while you are holding him, he decides to wiggle, please do not ah, throw my alligator. If you are concerned about the mouth, I have got this little band. I put it on very gently. It is just to keep me from getting in trouble and to help keep an honest alligator honest. You'll notice it really doesn't bother him and it helps make you guys think you're safe. So folks, I hope you've enjoyed the information. If you'd like to ask me anything else or take the picture, I'll be right down there. Thanks for coming out. Take it easy, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. If you'd like to, I'll be with you as fast as I can. Thank you guys. Thank you for sure. <laughs> Look at this crocodile. Look what I caught. his back, check him out real. I make first the photo and then video, okay? Thank you, man. Okay. Thank you. So what do you think about the crocodile thing? It's nice. <clears throat> I guess it was worth the 25 bucks, huh? Yeah, I mean, it was shorter than the, but the other ones was like $100, and theirs was like six hours. But I was fine with the, the one that we went to. It's only so much Everglades and grass and trees and alligators. Well, hopefully we can catch some fish now. We're going to go fishing. On the pier, hopefully we could go fishing. They said there's night fishing in there, so. We don't see. Don't know what we're fishing with. We'll just buy some shrimp and, and, and try that out first. Feed the fish. Yeah. And, or just go walking, because it feels good outside. Yeah. So we can just chalk this up as an outing. That's what Canadian, I think, called them. They call them outings. Instead of fishing. Because they don't catch fish. Game night.
Is that they, 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 wa they wash the dishes? Oh, they made them out. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Like now. Oh, does it? Oh. Going there, so my grandmother. Yeah. All right, the Wendy's, uh, the wind's going, so I'm about to uh, cut this off, and I will update you later. Yeah. The trick is when you go fishing, go ahead and get some bait that if you can't catch fish, you have some left, you can still eat that too. So we're going to have shrimp. Not the big fancy tiger paws or nothing, okay, folks? Get the frozen ones? They're like frozen? Oh no, she's getting fancy with it. You can. You can go over the sheep. Hello. Okay, back at the pier. It's really windy. So if somebody falls in, um, I guess uh, I'll just try to, I don't know what to do. Just jump in anyway, huh? Who's gonna fall in? You better not fall in. I just don't catch something. Now we need it. Yeah, yeah really windy, but um, I don't know what side to fish off of. I guess it wouldn't matter. Uh, nighttime fishing looks creepy, don't it? it looks creepy. Not because she's in the picture. She already caught one. Um, I'm still not catching nothing. Uh, I'm thinking there's no fish in this part of the water where I'm at. I think there's fishing right down there where she's at. That water, that water over there. Yeah, Tasha's uh, pelican friend's back. Oh yeah. Oh, he snapped at me. Paul. Guys, we got some, some squid here. Oh yeah, we can probably cook this, can't we? Hell no. They say it's not for human consumption at the store, but hell, you cook this long enough, you can eat it. She will not be a survivor. She will not be a no survivor show. She would be gone in a minute. Look how skinny she is already. Okay, she caught two fish, and uh, called the, uh, Jose called them grunt fish. Uh, no snappers though. I try to fish around the columns and no snappers. Uh, fish I caught was too big, so I had to throw it back. Didn't get a picture of it, it was so big. Uh, I'm walking straight and this car's gonna try to run me. Hey, hey, you see me walking? <laughs> car's trying to run you, run us over. They see us walking and then they're they want, they, I don't know, maybe they're on drugs or something. Whew. All right, I guess we're gonna wrap this up again. I got uh, just the Bible there with the car running us over, trying to. But we're gonna walk on home and tomorrow we're going fishing. The next vlog will be us doing uh, what, reef fishing? Yeah. Something like that. So we'll see if uh, I can catch a fish out there. Uh, I guess on the other one, I'm not sure. Oh, we got the picture of that one. Oh yeah, they got the, the GoPro. So see, I did catch a fish finally on that one. So that one came out the day before this one did. So the vlog before this one, you finally saw me catch a fish. Called Jack something. I don't even know the name of that Jack fish. Survived. Jack Savali. Jack Savali or something like that. Yeah, it's something like that. So, it was a it was strong fighting fish. If you saw the video, didn't do it justice because I mean I pulled it in easy and um, it really was. You did. Huh? So you did. I did. If you saw it, it was harder than it was. It's harder than it looked. Just like me eat doing the eating challenges. I make it look easier than it is. I don't like to brag about it. Just did though. All right, guys. On that note, uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, make sure you watch the next vlog of us doing the reef fishing. And uh, if you haven't caught the other ones, there's like four or five 
in front of this. So look in the descriptions and you'll see the links to the vlogs on this Florida trip on uh, Tasha's birthday trip. Over and out. All right, guys, on that note, uh, thanks for tuning in. Um, make sure you watch the next vlog of us doing the reef fishing. And uh, if you can catch the other ones, there's like four or five in front of this. So look in the descriptions and you'll see the links to the vlogs on this Florida trip on uh, Tasha's birthday trip. Over and out. Hey guys, I have hoodies in. The name brand are independent, so you know they are thick and high quality. I'm having have them all the way from small to 3X, uh, only in black right now, so just go ahead and look in the descriptions for that. Uh, I do have uh, t-shirts as well. The name brand of the t-shirts are canvas. Uh, they are thick, they are soft. The logo wipes off like a bib, just like on the hoodie. So if you want those, please check in descriptions. Uh, they all are pre-washed material, so they won't shrink on you. So check in descriptions for the price and the uh, shipping and handling of that, because I do ship in U.S. and in Canada. If you haven't already, um, hit follow on the Garbage Disposal on Facebook and follow me there to get more pictures and stuff. Uh, please subscribe to my page. Hit the notification bell to get notified of upcoming videos. And hit the like button if you like it. Other than that, please share it with your friends, family, and even your boss. Have a great day unless you made other plans.